can't believe I look like this. Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. Um, first off, apologies for this. This is um, nice. Um, but I posted a few TikToks recently and I just styled my hair and everyone in the comments was like, give us a hair tutorial. We wanna know how you do it. Give us a tutorial, give us a tutorial, give us a tutorial. So here I am giving you a tutorial. I'm literally gonna be running you through from the point of washing it to the point of taking it out of my pins and hairspraying it, everything I do and every single product that I use because there are quite a few. Let's get started, grab yourself a cup of tea, grab yourself some food because this is gonna be a long video and that is a fact, that is a fact. I'm just gonna jump in the shower. Okay, I'm in the shower now with my camera. I'm feeling that this is a pretty risky thing to do. Um, I'm gonna do it anyway. First off, I'm gonna wet all of my hair, make sure it's all damp all the way through. A bit like an egg. My camera's gonna get so steamy, so fast. So I wet all of my hair and then I'm gonna go in with my Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. This stuff is incredible, it's so good. It was invented for Audrey Hepburn and it adds elasticity to your hair and just makes it so it doesn't just break off and snap off, which is a problem that I've always had with my hair. So I'm gonna apply this through my hair now that it's wet. I'm gonna wring some of the water out of it because you don't want it to be stopping. Um, and then I'm gonna put this through my hair and leave it in there for like between five and 10 minutes. If you can sleep in this, that would be the best thing to do. But personally, I don't really wanna put my girlfriend through the pain of watching me sleep with wet hair slicked back into a bun. We're just not at that point. So pop this in and I'll see you in 10 minutes. Okay, all of the Philip Kingsley stuff is washed out now. So I'm gonna go in with shampoo. Um, the shampoo I use is the OGX um, biotin and collagen shampoo. This has been working really well for me. It's a brand that I really like. Um, I bought a lot of people stuff from this brand for Christmas. And then once I've washed that out, I'm gonna give my hair a minute to kind of dry off a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with my conditioner. The conditioner I'm using is the OGX biotin and collagen conditioner. And I'll leave this in for about two minutes. Um, and then I'm gonna use a hair mask. So I'll talk to you about that while I'm doing it. This is the worst I've ever looked on my channel. So next, I'm gonna go in with a hair mask. Um, this hair mask is the best one that I have ever used. You're gonna see me very fast. Woo. But now I'm gonna go in with a hair mask. Uh, the one that I like to use is the Three Expert uh, Gold Tumor and Protein Absolute Repair from L'Oreal. Um, this is the best one I have ever, ever, ever used. I've used probably a hundred hair masks, I'm not even joking. It works so well, it really helps with damage, frizzy, dry hair. I'm going to apply a dollar for this on my hair, no further up than my ears, and let it sit for about five minutes and then rinse it off with cold water. Rinsing it off with cold water is so important, make sure you do it, and then I'm done and I'll be out of the shower. Hi, so I'm out the shower, as you can see. My hair is all washed, clean, fresh, hydrated. Honestly, those products are incredible. I will link them in the description. They're my go-to products. I've gone through so many trying to find a product that works for my hair. I have coloured, curly, dry, damaged hair and it is literally saving my hair and my hair just gets better like every week. I only wash my hair and do my hair once a week. So I know that this like routine might seem a little bit extravagant but it's a once a week ordeal. I don't have to do it again for another week and it's just like two hours of my life instead of like 20 minutes every day doing my hair which I think is the better option. <laughs> so when you use the Dyson Air Wrap, which is the tool that I use to do my hair, your hair needs to be like 80, 90% dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it in a towel, let it start air drying uh, while I do some jobs around the house. I'm gonna talk to you more about the Dyson when I'm actually doing my hair, but for now I'm gonna go do some tidying, put some moisturizer on, and probably paint my nails, and I'll chat to you in a little bit. Okay, so my hair is 80, 90% dry. Um, I just stuck it up while I was tidying so it didn't start going all curly because I do have naturally curly hair and that would be a bit of an issue <laughs> if it started going all curly when I'm trying to use a Dyson on it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with my favorite hair products and I talk you through why I like all of them and then I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about the Dyson. First off, I'm going in with this. This is the Aveda Volumizing Tonic. 
This is amazing. You spray this all over your hair from root to tip and it gives you the biggest volume ever. If you want voluminous hair, this is my go-to product. It just looks fantastic. Your hair looks so big, so voluminous and the volume lasts as well. It doesn't go limp throughout the day or the next day the volume stays there until you wash your hair again. So I just spray it on. The next products I use, I actually mix all together in my hand and then put through my hair in one go because it just speeds things up. So the first thing is the Naughty 97% Natural to the Rescue Anti-Frizz Serum. Like I said, I've got curly hair. So I just add one pump of that into my hand. Then I go in with the Too Chic Repairing Hair Oil Serum and this is just a hair oil. It's gonna smooth your hair out. And then I use this, which is the Redken All Soft Argan Oil. Um, and it does six different things for your hair. It does so much for your hair. I absolutely love this product. So I just mix them all together in my hands. And then I apply this to the ends only. Um, I don't apply this to the root at all, literally just the ends of my hair, really, really focusing at the end, just to kind of help with any damage, any split ends, and with products like this, I don't go any higher than my ears. I like to use my ears as a guideline, because that's kind of where, if you go above that area, you're going to start making your hair look a little bit greasy, and weighing it down a little bit from the top of your hair, so try to avoid that. Next, I go in with this. This is the 24 Hour Styler, and this is a styling formula, a stylist secret to making your hair look amazing 24 hours a day. So I just add three pumps of that into my hand. I'm almost out of this because I just absolutely love it. I go a little bit further up with this one because this is a product that you can apply to your roots, but I just try not to because it will weigh your hair down, like I said. And then lastly, I use this, which is the L'Oreal New Stylista Blow Dry Cream. Uh, the Blow Dry Cream Heat Protector and Style Extender. Um, so this obviously protects your hair and makes it last a little bit longer. It's a blow dry cream and when you blow dry your hair you can kind of get it to be a little bit wispy so I think this really helps with just keeping it shiny, glossy, in place and stopping that like really frizzy look. Next I'm trying to brush my hair out a little bit. I do like to use a wide tooth brush whenever possible because I feel like it just causes the least damage to your hair. I'm just going to twist my hair and put it into a little clip because I don't want it to dry anymore while I'm talking to you about the Dyson. So I have been asked a million times if the Dyson is worth it and in my opinion it's a no-brainer it is so so worth it this is a hair dryer a straightener a curler and a round brush you get two different curling heads so you can do bigger curls more loose voluminous curls and you can do tighter curls too so it's kind of everything in one. Every single device that you could possibly need on one compact thing. I love it. I think it's so worth it. And I think if you look at the price and just go, oh my God, it's just a hairdryer. Why is it worth that? It's not just a hairdryer. It's so many different things. If you were to sell your hairdryer, your curlers, uh, your straighteners and your round brush, you would be able to buy yourself a Dyson Airwrap. I absolutely love this thing. It just works so well. And because of the fact your hair needs to be 80-90% dry for you to even use it, it means that you're damaging your hair a lot less because you're not blow drying it and then going in with straighteners or straightening it and then curling it because I know a lot of people struggle with the fact that they have to straighten their hair before they can even curl it. With the Dyson, you won't need to do that. I do just want to make it very clear that I'm not working with Dyson in any way, shape or form, but this product is just something that I absolutely love and something that has really been helping with the health of my hair. I have an entire in-depth review on the Dyson. If you want to go and watch it, I will link it in the description. But for now, I'm just going to be using the two smaller curling barrels, which look like this. The, you have ones that go in each direction, so you can have curls going towards your face or away from your face, and the arrows indicate which way they're going to be going. And then I'm also going to be using the round brush attachment, which just looks like this, to do my fringe. So my biggest tip when using the Dyson, or if you want to get volume in your hair with whatever tool you're using, is to make sure that your roots are completely dry before you do anything to them. Volume in the roots is so hard to achieve if you don't dry your hair properly. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be flipping my head upside down and blow drying all of my roots and making sure they're completely dry before I go in with the curling tools. As you can see, my hair is already huge just from blow drying the roots. That is a combination of drying my hair upside down and using all of the products that I just used. They really do work and there is the proof. So now what I'm doing is brushing my hair out once again and sectioning it into different sections. I do multiple sections throughout my hair and I like to pin curl my hair. It's very, very simple to do this. Um, a lot of people, I think they hear pin curling, they're like, I don't know how to do that, I don't know how to do that. It is the most simple thing in the world. You don't need to be a hairdresser to do it. I am not good at doing hair. That is a fact. People have made memes of me doing my hair because I'm that bad at it. Um, but what I'm gonna do is section off the bottom. 
As a guide, I go from around where my ears are for the first section, and for me it's a little bit easier because that happens to be where my extensions are. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hair into a bun to section it off to lock in any of the dampness that is still in my hair because I don't want it to dry any further because then it will make it too hard to style with the Dyson. Your hair needs to be damp for the Dyson to work. It can't be dry, otherwise it just won't work. So I like to do one section at a time. So I'm gonna start with my left side because I find that the hardest to do because I'm right-handed. I'm gonna pick up the Dyson head and figure out which one is facing away from my face. I prefer to have my curls directed away from my face. That's just how I think it suits me best, but obviously you can curl it towards your face or even under if that's what you want to do. But personally, what I do is do it away. What I use to pin my hair are these little tiny metal clips that just look like this I probably actually would prefer to use grips I think they're just easy to use especially with a weave I do have a weave like I mentioned at the start of the video if you'd like to hear more about that I'll link it in the description too but I feel like grips just work a lot better or bobby pins if you're from the US um, but these work fine and that's what I'm using to section off my hair I make three sections and the sections I would say are about an inch thick um, yeah, I'd say they're about an inch thick. I like to put pins in all of these ready and then pin them to the top of my head just because I think it makes it a little bit easier. And I'm also gonna pin this side as well. Again, by doing this and pinning them out of the way, it means that the hair isn't gonna dry as quickly because like I said, you don't want your hair to be dry when using the Dyson, otherwise it won't work. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna brush out this piece of hair and hold it towards the bottom, leave about that much left, turn the Dyson on and it will just gather it on its own. And then I leave it on there for about 30 seconds. Okay, so I've been drying it for about 30 seconds and now I'm gonna use the cold blast to set the curl in place. This isn't too important because we're gonna be pinning it, but I still like to cool the curl down a little bit before I do it. And then I just turn it off and slide it off the barrel. And you can see it kind of stays in this little like ringlet thing. What you wanna do is you're gonna put your thumb back through the hole. You're gonna put your thumb back through the hole and twizzle the curl up before pinning it to your head. There we go. Now my curl is pinned up. I'm gonna take out the next section. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. Grab the curl towards the bottom, turn it on. It will gather the hair itself. And then I like to roll it up the hair because I feel like it's just neater. And then I'll wait 30 seconds, do the core plus, and drop it again. Okay, so I've done all of this side and I've pinned it all up. So I've just switched the head over. And as you can maybe see, the arrows are pointing away. So I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on this side and then I'll get back to you once I am separating my hair to next section. Okay, so the bottom layer is completely done. We're gonna move on to the next section. So I'm gonna take my hair out and split it again. Um, I'm gonna go probably in line with the arch of my eyebrow and just do like a semicircle on the top of my head from that point. And then I have the top section up here because I do do something different with the top section to just maximize how much volume I have in my hair. I'm gonna pin that up again. And now we have the middle section here. Let's split that in two. Okay, so we're gonna start again with the left side because this is the side that I find hardest to do. Because I'm right-handed, so I just like to get it out of the way as soon as possible. And we're gonna pin the right side away. We don't want any wet or damp hair laying on the curls that we've already done, so we're gonna pin it up out of the way. And we're gonna start with the left-hand side. So for this layer, I like to use two pins and one bobby pin because the one right at the front, my hair is a little bit thinner. I think it's the same for everybody, just like round here by my temple, it's a little bit thinner so it's harder for those clips to grip on because there's too much weight in the curl and not much for it to hold on to. So I'm just gonna brush my hair out and section it into three once again. Also, if you realize that you've missed any little bits of hair down on the first section, now is the time to pick them up and incorporate them into the middle section of hair. Once again, I'm sectioning them into three. And I'm gonna put a pin in each one just to keep it out of the way and then just pin it over the top of my head. So another way I like to make sure there's volume in my hair is I don't hold the curl like this. I hold it up kind of like level with my head. I don't point the hair downwards. I hold it up like this and then curl straight into my head instead of going up like this because I feel like when you curl the hair and you're drying it straight, it's making the root kind of stand up a little bit higher than it would on its own. So again, I'm gonna go right to the end of the hair, get it to wrap it up. 
and then just curl it up to the top of my head like so make sure all the little bits of hair are wrapped around it and there we go i like to hold it level with my head instead of coming at it like this just trying to keep it up and lifting at the roof i'm going to pop you on a time lapse and do the rest of my hair and then i'll get back to you with the next section okay we are almost done we're on to the last section which is the middle section of hair what we're going to do for this is we're going to take the barrel and make sure that it's pointing away from our face because we want the curls to go round and underneath themselves into a little loop. So you want the arrows to be pointing up and away. Then we're going to brush it out and again we're going to go with inch thick sections starting from right at the back. And then wrap it towards your head. I like to leave my fringe out of this because I do something different to my fringe. Okay, now for my fringe, I kind of have like curtain bangs and what I do is I just take the round brush attachment, I put it underneath my hair and I just twizzle it round and then I will go on top of my hair, twizzle it round just to kind of get that lift in the roots and then I twizzle it round again from underneath and hold it there for about 10 seconds and then actually take the attachment off and leave it in my hair like that so that the curl can set with the actual round brush attachment in. Okay, so that is my hair all done, all in my pin curls. If you see these little like wispy bits here, these are just little bits of hair that are like baby hairs that are growing out and I can't get them into the little curls, so I just leave them. They're fine. They, they just blend into the rest of my hair. Now, you're probably wondering how long do I have to walk around looking like this? <laughs> and the short answer is 20 minutes. Um, that is the minimum that I would say to leave your hair in these curls to set because I feel like you're just going to get the best results if you leave it for at least 20 minutes. Um, if anything shorter than that, it will kind of be a little bit pointless putting it into the pins. So I would say wait at least 20 minutes. But ideally, if you can sleep in this and sleep in it overnight and then the next morning take them out, you're going to have the longest lasting results. So if you can do this at night time and then sleep in it and then the next morning take it out, these curls are going to last you so, so long. Which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sleep with my hair like this tonight. I don't think it looks too stupid. I think I still look like decently okay with my hair like this. Um, and I think it's just the best thing to do if you want to preserve the curls and not have to keep doing your hair every single day because these curls will literally last you such a long time. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a load of hairspray in my hair while the curls are still in pins. And then when I take it out, I'm going to respray it with hairspray. And then I will show you tomorrow the finished results of my hair. Good morning. Hello, everyone. So it's the next day and I've slept in my curls in my pin curls and as you can see some of them have fallen out my fringe is looking a lot flatter which is a good thing because my fringe was very curly um i don't sleep with the big roller in the top because it's a little bit uncomfy so what i'm going to do now is take all the pins out which usually can take me a little while because it's kind of hard to do and like find where they are Okay, so I've just taken all the curls out and as you can see my hair is very short because of it and they're very locked in together and very very bouncy as you can see my hair is so bouncy and I think that's what a lot of people had questions about how I get the volume and how it's so bouncy honestly the bounciness is because of the way I do it it is very very bouncy and the volume is because of the products I use and the way I blow dry my hair as you can see my hair is big like it's just big because I've blow dried it up I forced volume into the roots and I forced it to dry in an upwards motion. Um, now what I'm going to be doing is spraying some hairspray on. Like I said, you need to spray from underneath. And that just means that you're not putting product on top of the hair and weighing it down. And now what I'm used to it is let it drop. So I'm going to go have a shower um, and just let my hair drop for a little bit and then it will be pretty much where we want it to be by the time I finish showering for me doing my makeup because right now that's a little bit too curly for my liking so I'm gonna go have a shower. Hello! So this is pretty much the end result of my hair. This is what it looks like finished. I'll just spin around so you can see. It's very bouncy. It's such bouncy hair. I love it. I love having big curly hair. It makes me feel really feminine and really pretty and I just love it and it seems like you guys do too so enjoy so that is my hair tutorial i really hope you enjoyed i hope i've given you everything you need to know about my hair and how i do it and how i make it last so long and be so bouncy because it's bouncy hair and it's very very big and i love it and i'm so glad that everybody is appreciating the big hair thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed don't forget to follow me on tiktok and instagram and i'll see you next sunday with a new video bye